ba 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 Notorious Nation, Merry Christmas and welcome to my Christmas special. Of course I had to go out and get Christmas themed food for this video. So I thought about it and I went out and got eggnog, which is traditional in most houses at Christmas time. A lot of people put alcohol in it, but this is just going to be the straight eggnog. It's one gallon's worth. The traditional fruit cake. This is something that has a shelf life of probably a hundred years. Who knows? Not a lot of people like it, but I absolutely love it. It reminds me my grandfather would give my family one every year and I was the only person that ate it. So I had the whole thing myself. It was wonderful and delicious. I can't wait to try this out. So it's one pound of that and something I've never tried before. This is Pantone. I believe it's pronounced. It's from Italy, but it's in all the stores around here at Christmas time. It's kind of a, a cake it's supposed to be, but it's more bread-like. So I've never had it. I'm looking forward to it. This is a whole kilogram. Comes in a really cool box. How can you pass that up in the stores? I have no idea. So let me get this stuff cut up and set up and let's get this video started. Ricardo Corbucci, may I remember this knife? I'm not sure how you open this thing. Oh, here we go. Smells more like a bread than a cake. It's a lot more dense than a normal cake. Wow. Smells great. This is super dense. This is what a fruit cake looks like. It's very dense. Of course, it's full of fruit. I guess there's a lot of sugar and preservatives because it lasts forever. But just the smell, it just brings me back. I can clearly visualize my grandfather, who's unfortunately passed away for quite some time now. But I can just see him bringing this to the house at Christmas. Oh, good memory. All right, I'm actually very excited to do this. All right, let's get this started. Mm, Got to start with this. Mmm, so good. I'm starting in on this fruitcake because I'm excited. It reminds me of my dad's dad and he died in 1977. So of course I have not seen him for a long time. But as I said, this fruit cake was just something he did all the time for us every year. So that's really exciting to have some fruit cake again. So good and so dense. As I'm eating this, I remembered that it used to take me about a week to eat the entire fruit cake. Uh, this is a really strong flavor. It tastes great, but it's just not something you normally eat a lot of. Yeah, it's hard to swallow. So as I'm finishing up this fruit cake, I'm using the eggnog to, of course, wash the fruit cake down. But the eggnog is really cold. I, thinking back on this, I probably should have taken the eggnog out of the refrigerator um, earlier versus right before I shot the video. Because it's actually making the fruit cake seem very warm in comparison. Fruit cake down. <clears throat> I think that was like seven or eight dollars. Try the Pantone. This is good. I've never had a Pantone before, and I liken it maybe to a raisin bread that's sweeter than a normal bread. And it's not like a Danish sweetness. It's a little bit more tempered than that. Um, but if you got a whole loaf of raisin bread and got it uncut, I think that, that is as close as I can get to uh, what this actually tastes like. It's very good. I'm really enjoying this. It's very soft on the inside. I'm not really sure how they make it so far ahead of time and it's still soft on the inside because you know if you get raisin bread, it's not going to be fresh like this. So um, I'm very impressed with this product and I'm definitely going to add it to my uh, Christmas season list in the future. Delicious, but so chewy. I was absolutely thrilled making this video. 
as far as the food tasted so good. Now it was a little sweet um, and rich to eat in quantities, but not so much in this video where it really bothered me. Um, I did uh, wear out my jaw doing the filming though. I have not been training like I used to for eating contests. And uh, I've gone since probably May since I've done any kind of training whatsoever. And my jaw felt it the next day. I was too lazy to ice my jaw after this. And this, this amount of chewing really bothered me. Uh, I did film a video two days later, but luckily I didn't need to capacity, so it didn't really matter, matter too much. All right, last one. Gotta eat clean like Randy Santel. As I'm wrapping up the eggnog, make sure you stay tuned afterwards as I open up a fan's letter and it gets a little bit emotional. Ah, oh. Pantone done. Half a gallon of eggnog left. <coughs> Unfortunately, this is cold. It's whew. real big deal in the US. Woo! Wow. That was the Christmas special. Tell you what, that Pantone I actually like better than the fruitcake. It doesn't remind me visually of my grandfather, but excuse me. Oh, it's cold. The taste though is actually better. I could probably eat that more often than fruitcake. I understand you can also use that to make French toast. So just point that out there. So thank you for coming to my Christmas special. One more thing I did get, oh, leaning it over with all this stuff in my belly, that's tough. <coughs> I did get fan mail and it's addressed to literally B dot, the word dot, O dot B dot. That means this person is also a fan of Brandon the Garbage Disposal Clark, whose cup I always use. So, happy holidays. This is something I've been meaning to send you since May. This is my mom's finger rosary. I can't think of anyone. Oh, uh, finger rosary? Uh, for Catholics, they use this. I don't. Uh, <coughs> It's the eggnog. Uh, and um, I did become a Catholic. Uh, ca I can't even talk. Uh, I did become a Catholic this year, so uh, this is something from a, a fan's mom who I became friends with, or friendly with, and she did some challenges with us. She did pass away, and um, it means a lot. Thank you very much. And now I gotta go wipe my, my eyes. Um, you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, Ms. Hobbs.